so today we are making a goosey soup and for this recipe we'll be needing a raw palm oil onion pepper mix your smoked fish your stocked fish your pomo of course your igusi which is the king of the meal your ugu you know for garnishing and um, you want to go ahead to fry your igusi properly make sure it's well fried you need to fry this dry of course your palm oil must be easy and ready for your igusi so if your goose is looking like this, then I must give you a round of applause. This is what you want your goose to look like. It has to come out crispy because what you want to achieve at the end of the day is a lumpy goose and not a smooth, pureed goose at all. So for this video, follow me to the end, watch it to the very end, and you're going to learn one or two things from it. So after your goose is well fried, you want to introduce your pepper mix. So for this pepper mix I have in it, Tatashe, um, pepper, little tomato, and of course onion. So I like to add a lot of onion because onion gives you know your meal the best test ever. So you want to give this a good stir. Yes, you want to stir properly to make sure the pepper and the goosey are well combined. All right, guys. So once you're done stirring, the next thing you want to do is you want to allow this to cook. You know, for about say five to ten minutes. Yes, if you allow this to cook, what you're trying to achieve is make sure your pepper mix is well cooked because you don't want it raw in your food. Yeah, so you need to keep cooking these. Once you see your oil floating on your igusi mix, trust me, your pepper is ready. So at that point, I'll, I'll go ahead to add iru to it. What is iru called in your local language? Where I came from, they call it ogiri. Yes, but we do not use ogiri. In this particular one we used iru yes so let me know what you call iru in your local language yes yeah and it's called locust beans in english yeah you want to add that to it and allow it to cook for about five to ten minutes yes you can see the way it's cooking it shows that your pepper mix is out of it because it's ready and good to go all right guys so once this is cooked for this 10 minutes if your goose is not looking like this then you're doing something wrong I must tell you at this point you want to go ahead to do what to add your seasoning yes yeah, so if you had your seasoning to this what you're doing is you are giving this a go see you know another level as another another eye level because of course you don't want to make it so dramatic so for this particular recipe i used just um two seasoning cubes yes and it was really perfect trust me you don't want to add anything too serious and afterwards i went ahead to add my salt to taste salt to taste i mean emphasis on salt to taste because you don't want your soup too salty and if not for anything for our health it's very very important please i beg of you yes just salt to taste you don't want it to be too salty and you go ahead and give it a good stir now whilst you have you're done stirring this huh even you yourself should know that yes you've done something and you should clap for yourself yes clap for yourself because it's not easy to just come into the kitchen and cook a good meal for your family to eat but even if it's for yourself you should need to applaud yourself when you do a good thing now if you also make mistakes talk to yourself about it don't just applaud yourself and say i've done a good job but you know what you do but actually a bad job no but let me ask you a good question from the look of this egusi soup i'm making what do you think <laughs> let me know your comments in the comment section below all right so you want to taste to be sure that the seasoning and the salt is well you know combined and okay for you to go so at this point after testing i said to myself you know what it's delicious you're doing good in this kitchen <laughs> all right the salt and the seasoning was just so perfect you can go ahead and add whatever seasoning you want People, people like their um, food so spicy, so they want to go ahead to add Cameroon pepper or yellow pepper, and that gives it another aroma. But I don't like, you know, making my goosey look too busy. I just keep it so, so simple. I keep it as simple as ABC, and that's why you see me adding just seasoning and salt to taste at this particular recipe of my goosey soup. So afterwards, you want to go ahead 
and add whatever protein you have available so for this particular video as i've shown you earlier i'll be adding next to this my panela fish that is my smoked fish yes this panela fish trust me is something you would you don't want to miss in your meal i like it a whole lot even when i'm making pepper stew which my family loves a lot to eat rice with i love to put this panela fish this smoked fish yes you can go ahead and even make it yourself in your kitchen so afterwards i added my skin my cow skin that is locally called Pomo in this area of the world where i live meanwhile if you're wondering where i'm watching where you're watching me from of course i reside here in lagos nigeria so guys i'd like to know where you're watching me from drop me a comment of your location who knows i might just pick randomly and give you a shout out in my next video because going forward we're going to be doing that yes on this channel and guys um if you're watching up until now you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for how are you going to support me if you just watch and pass by please don't just pass by subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up as in that finger up that you see it's thumbs up yes give it a thumbs up if you enjoy what you've seen so far i beg of you it helps video to grow a lot and if you check my video i am pretty new here and i would love your support a whole lot thank you so much in advance because i know you're going to do just that and do not forget to turn on post notification because of course we're going to meet in here every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. You can see three times in a week, I have made, taken it upon myself, you know, to post videos on this channel, and I'll be doing that going forward. So please, if you're new here, if you're seeing my video for the very first time, to just pass by, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so you get notified each time I post any new video. And also, I've done a lot of shots, so you could just go ahead and watch those shots as well. It's just a little way of supporting me, and trust me, I am, I'm gonna. I will take this for granted. Thank you so much, so so much. Yes, God bless you. As we proceed with our cooking, all right. So you want to allow this to cook for about ten minutes. Now, while you are waiting for this to cook, you want to allow it to cook for ten minutes because you have your pomo. And your fish in it you don't want them to come out raw so that's the reason why you can see me some I have another recipe where I make a goosey differently so people make their soup differently but for me I want this a goosey fish and pomo to mix properly you know it has a saute as an in into that a goosey very very well so when I add water to it the water will not wash away everything so that's the idea behind this all right give it a very good stir make sure it is well combined just make sure this is well cooked you want to test your pomo and say ah i can feel it like the salt the seasoning everything is well combined in this pomo so once you're done and you're satisfied with that add your water to the egusi mix oh my goodness i don't know how you like your egusi do you like your egusi thick or you like it a bit loosened drop me your you know comments your comments in the comment section below i want to know how you like your egusi for me this is a consistency i like my egusi to look like like i don't want to be eating my swallow and is sticking to my throat like i don't know about you all right so after adding the water i'll now go ahead to add my stocked fish now this stocked fish before i added it to it i've already soaked it eh, in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes so it's really if I, over 10 to 15 minutes first i like cooking at all so it is well as in soaked in water that i added salt to so it is soft so i added and that's i decided to add it to this because i don't want it all scattered in the egusi mix that i had earlier so that's why you see it this way now my brethren my 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 great people on the street if at this time your neighbor have not come to the door to be knocking and say, why are you disturbing us with the aroma of this food? Then, my dear, you are doing nothing. But, hey, by this time, your neighbor should be wondering, where is this aroma coming from? Is it this woman again? All right, guys. So, afterwards, you give it about 15, 20 minutes to cook properly. Don't forget you've added your stocked fish. 
that also needs to be well cooked a few minutes later few moments later this is what you have oh my goodness just imagine how this thing is looking already and you could see it's not ready you <laughs> So people will say, ah, we can eat it this way. Well, it's your choice because by now, of course, it is looking inviting. But hey, this is not my final consistency for the goose soup. Don't forget, we have one more ingredient to go. All right, let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, so you want to give it a goose there. I just wanted to check on the goose to see how it's doing anyways. Then I went ahead to cover it again. Yes, yes, yes. And hey, can you see the goodness of this egusi soup? Look at the way he's just doing ha ha ha. He's speaking in tongues. <laughs> oh yes. The egusi is really, really looking inviting at this point. My dear, you can go ahead and eat your egusi like this if you do not like to add vegetable to it. But at this point, because I love my veggies a lot. So for this particular recipe, I'm using just the ugu, you know, leaf. That is a pumpkin leaf for this recipe. If you know you want me to drop you the other recipe of how I cook my egusi soup in another form, drop me your comments in the comment section below. And of course, I'm going to oblige you. I want to see you craving for that recipe. <laughs> All right, guys. So at this point, I'm introducing the last, you know, ingredients for this soup that would take it to the next level remember i told you this consistency is not what i want for my goosey right so after i've added the ugu the ugu is going to make it go to another level and the final result trust me is going to wow you it won't be as watery as what you saw before it would have of course taken up and the best consistency for my goosey soup is ready so for this recipe, I don't just turn my goose in, no, after adding my, my vegetable to it. I allow it to cook for just a few minutes, say about one or two minutes, yes. Then, because you don't want your goose to be too soft and soggy in your soup, right? So, afterwards, see what my goose looks like? Tell me, just tell me the truth. Are you loving this or not? I want the gospel truth. How does this recipe look like? It looks so good. <laughs> Please, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. don't come and finish my goosey soup on the internet. Oh. <laughs> All right, if you know you want to order yours, we are in Lagos, Nigeria. Yes, we make the best goosey soup ever. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching.